What's up, YouTube? This is Spade here, bringing you guys another Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi-Fi battle. And uh, this is another match with the uh, Rain team. Uh, I did change it up a bit, and Technician Breloom has been released. Also, I think Imposter Ditto is out. So some really crazy things for the meta game are out, and I just decided to try out Breloom in this match and uh, and uh, see how that goes. And uh, it's kind of funny that it's been kind of like raining the whole day and I've been just narrating a bunch of LP episodes and uh, you know now I'm doing a battle and probably gonna do a few more LP episodes later on today. Can you guys actually hear the rain? Blue Snowball should pick it up. But anyways, I got a match here against Zingo or Mega Keldeo. I'm, I'm just gonna have this uh third generation heavy rain music in the background because I think it fits this battle perfectly and this day and everything. So to be honest I'm not sure why I led with the um, tornadoes. I just always tend to do because it has such a diverse move pool. It can do many things. But uh, my opponent has a Terrakion and he leads with it so that could potentially really mean that he's Scarf because you know Scarf leads are kind of common. So I don't want to stay in for that, and judging by the damage that he was able to do to my, uh, to my, uh, freaking light score, I'm pretty sure that he is Choice Scarf, it wasn't bandit damage. So anyways, switch into Skarmory is pretty darn obvious, so I'm gonna go into my Fortress, pull a double switch, also if he would want to stay in for random reason, who knows what, uh, I could take a stone edge from that thing. So I get up my rocks, he goes for spikes, I'm gonna go for the rapid spin, he goes into his Jirachi, and, um, it turns out he's running leftovers, so I'm not really too scared, but I don't want to take a random hit from him with any of my guys, so the best move I can do is uh, let Fortress take the hits and also get the switch advantage. So let's go for the Vault Switch and uh, switch out that way. Uh, so there we go. I'm gonna pull the Vault Switch and then I go into back into my Glide Score because I know that I should be able to wall him completely, especially since I now know that he's running a defensive set with uh, T-Wave, it wouldn't have really mattered if he had uh, Body Slam because I'm already poisoned with Gliscor. But uh, now figuring that he's gonna go back into his uh, Skarmory most likely, I'm gonna go into my Tornadus because the rain, is, rain wasn't up at this point so I could Heat Wave the Skarm early. But he actually pulls a double switch into his Politoed and after Stealth Rocks I find out that he's running a defensive set so I'm like well, might as well rock him like a hurricane, because I should be able to take one hit from him, and I should most likely be able to uh, two hit KO go two hit KO him Blech. with the hurricane. So that happens, and he's gonna ice beam, which I do take uh, pretty darn well. Even though I think this one is running the naive nature, because I don't want to have a minus attack nature, because I'm running superpower and also U-turn. But. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the Hurricane again, uh, he's gonna go into his Jirachi, because he wants to salvage his uh, Politoed, but I get a really good chunk of damage on him, and I'm still alive, so uh, that's all that matters, and uh, on the following turn I'm just gonna go for the U-turn, get a bit of uh, life or recoil more, but then again, you know, Regenerator is gonna bring about 33% back, so it doesn't really matter too much, and uh, Gliscor again, walls this Jirachi to Oblivion, so I'm just going to switch it in. And uh, because uh, every time earlier, when he has an op opportunity to go into Gliscor, I have pulled a double switch on him. This time I decided I'm just going to stay in. And uh, he thinks I am going to switch out, so he actually just goes for the Iron Head. Uh, to be honest, not sure what he was predicting. He probably should have gone for T-Babe if he was predicting me to stay in. But I guess he thought that would be the safest option. But I hit down the Jirachi really low, which is all I wanted. And uh, now I'm not really sure if he wants to sack it or not. So I'm just going to play it safe and uh, just stay in with Gliscor. And, uh, you know, no harm, no foul. And I'm also going to get a bit more uh, of a poison heal recovery. So that really helps me to wall his uh, Terrakion. But uh, I'm going to send out my Jirachi. He actually goes for Brave Bird. I guess thinking I might go back into... Tornadus, although, I don't know, with the Regenerator, I think I would have regenerated enough health to live a Brave Bird, but um, he's not still not back to, uh, his, uh, to his sturdy range, so I'm pretty safe to go for the Thunder, and he actually goes into his, um, into his King Tri, it was kind of funny, every time I saw the Skarmory that was named Mystery, I thought he would send out his Kingdra, because SpongeBob, 
if you know what I mean. But I go for two landers. I know he can't run swift swim, swim, so I know that I'm gonna be faster. And uh, I'm just gonna go for two landers. And uh, yeah, he gets really lucky. He doesn't get paralyzed on either of the turns. And then he's gonna go for the waterfall, uh, which I do know that I can still take, because uh, it's a Kingdra, even in the rain. But he does crit me. That would have done about 60, 70%-ish. So yeah, he crits me. So that was like, man, my Jirachi has like really bad luck lately. So it totally does have. I I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna bring up the meta game because he is Mr. Meta Game. He is Technician Breloom, and I'm going to take him out with the priority Muck Punch. But then then he's going to bring out his uh, own Tornadus, which is actually running the uh, regular form. And uh, I'm just gonna bring out Fortress because I pretty much have to. Uh, Sack something to it, and uh, yeah, even on my specially defensive fortress, the hurricane is gonna be a two-hit KO. He, uh, I think, the regular tornado is, is a bit stronger than the uh, the new one, anyways. Uh, but it's a bit slower than again, and it, it's a bit weaker on the defensive sides. That's how it goes if they have swapped the stats a bit, and regular tornado is, is does pack a bit of a bunch more than the new one, but uh, the new one is stronger and es especially with the couple uh, life orb hits that he has already taken and stealth rocks I can easily revenge kill him, so the new one beats the old one because I am faster so there we go, take him out and uh, he's gonna bring out his Skarmori and I know that the hurricane will be a two hit KO so I might as well go for it because uh, you know, also I got a chance to confuse him, and if he wants to go roost, you know, I I just figured I can, you know, just whittle him down, because, you know, Hurricanes, uh, well, I guess it would have been an option for him to really roost here, but he actually decides to just go for the Ray Bird and uh, take me out, because, uh, uh, you know, Tornadus was a bit of a problem for his team, but uh, now he is confused, so what I decided to do here is uh, send out the metagame, send out Technician Berloom, and uh, put him to sleep, because I figured I might as well push my luck here. I have had pretty bad luck in this match so far, but uh, might as well push it. So I'm just gonna put him to sleep, and uh, he is confused, so uh, I'm just hoping that he doesn't get the first turn wake up, and I'm hoping that he doesn't snap out of confusion, or hit through the confusion, rather. And uh, neither of the things ha happen, he does stay in, so... Lady Lux turns, and uh, I get a soft sword stance with my Breloom, and I'm I am going to go for the Muck Punch and uh, easily take him out with the Life Orb and the Stab and the Technician and all the good stuff stuff that the uh, Breloom gets. And uh, in comes Terrakion. I am just going to go for the Muck Punch. If he had like a random Focus Sash, that's broken now thanks to uh, Stealth Rocks, so I can easily take him out because Terrakion is weak to fighting. So down it goes, and now he's going to go into this Polytoad. I'm just going to take that thing out with a, a bullet seed, which is another move that you kind of... I guess the standard set will be Spore and Sword Stance and then Bullet Seed and uh, Mark Punch, because they those are the two moves that get boosted and they are Stab on Berloom. So I take him out with the Bullet Seed and now his last guy is the Jirachi and I'm gonna go for the Mark Punch, easily take him out and I'm actually going to crit him, which is kind of funny because he critted my Rachi. So eye for an eye, that will be the game. But uh, yeah, that will be the match indeed. Figured I, I would post this one because I kind of just wanted to show off the uh, Technician Breloom that is now finally out. So uh, I, I guess question of the day, uh, what do you think of like uh, all the new Dreamworld abilities and all the moves that have, have been uh, released in black and white uh, too recently? And uh, what do you think about Technician Breloom? Because that thing is definitely going to shake up the meta game a bit. It does have its own, uh, you know, good checks and counters in the meta game, but we'll, but the, one of the thing is, things is that it has 100% reliable sleep moves, so it can potentially put those counters to sleep, so it's gonna be a bit interesting to see how, uh, you know, the new Breloom is going to be doing in the meta game. In the Dreamworld OU, I know that much that uh, Technician Breloom is paired with the Shadow Attack Chandelure, to, uh, you know, first take out the checks when you got Shadow Tag and then just go on the Rampage uh, with Breloom and set up Source and, and, and put something to sleep. But uh, at least Shadow Tag Chandelure hasn't been released and whenever that thing gets released it will most likely get banned, but that's kind of besides the point. But uh, if you got some thoughts about the metagame so far, all the new stuff, uh, leave it in the comment section below. 
and I will see you guys tomorrow with another random battle. So, uh, thank you for watching. Until then, until tomorrow, this is the Flaming Spade, signing out. Peace.